Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan and today we will discuss MOSFET transistors fabrication steps. With a rapid miniaturization and efficient high volume processing, over billion transistors are produced for every person in the world every year. Massive integration of transistors have made complex circuits in the form of integrated circuits or ICs inexpensive and a wide range of electronic applications practical and affordable. Semiconductor devices are responsible for the arrival of computer age or second industrial revolution. At the heart of the information and communication technologies, ICs of all description also find application in consumer electronics, automobiles, medical equipment and industrial electronics. As a result, semiconductor devices are making contribution to every segment of the global economy and every branch of human endeavors. So now uh, we are going to discuss the MOSFET fabrication steps. So uh, before discussing uh, this diagram, let me uh, describe the basic fabrication steps. So we have uh, uh, total uh, uh, six basic uh, uh, fabrication steps for the MOSFET. So the number one is oxidation, number two is diffusion, number three is ion implantation, Number four is deposition, number five is etching, and number six is photolithography. So, oxidation is the processing of growing of layers silicon dioxide on the surface of silicon wafer. Diffusion, diffusion is the movement of impurity atoms at the surface of silicon into the bulk of the silicon from higher concentration to lower concentration. Deposition. Deposition is the mean by which various metals are deposited on the silicon wafer. Etching. Etching is the process of selectively removing a layer of material. Photolithography. The process to transfer pattern to a layer on chip is called lithography. Since each layer has its own distinct patterning requirement, the lithographic sequence must be repeated for every layer using a different mask. So let me uh, describe uh, this diagram now. Okay, so uh, number one, uh, it's basically uh, it's basically the photoresist. Okay, so uh, this is the the prepared silicon wafer okay and uh, here you have uh, this mechanism for projected light and here you have this mask okay and patterns are projected repeatedly onto the wafer okay so th this is your wafer and here through this mechanism uh, basically you uh, project these patterns onto the wafers okay so here you have this mechanism here uh, this is your mask lens okay and uh, here number three it's basically exposed photoresist is removed in this process so number four areas unprotected by photoresist are etched by gases okay so this is the shape you get at number four and uh, here in this step you have ion showers the etched area and doping them Okay, so here uh, you have this doped region. So here you can see this is your doped region. So new photoresist is spun on wafer and step two to four is repeated here. Okay, so here uh, you have this uh, uh, number six, you have uh, this similar cycle is repeated to lay down metal links between the transistors. Okay, so here you have this uh, metal connectors here and uh, here uh, uh, you have this fabricated transistors okay so this was uh, the description of this uh, uh, mosfet uh, transistor fabrication steps okay so uh, let me uh, describe uh, these steps in more details okay so let's go to next slide okay so building a mosfet transistor using silicon okay so now uh, i will uh, describe uh, uh, this whole procedure in details okay so number one here you have this 
positively doped silicon wafer is first coated with an insulating layer of silicon dioxide okay so in that yellow, yellow color you can see uh, so uh, this is done through chemical vapor deposition okay and an ultraviolet light sensitive thin layer of, of, of photoresist in blue color is applied to the silicon di dioxide surface and <clears throat> and evenly spread across the wafer okay so here you can see this mechanism the first mask is placed over the wafer and ultraviolet light is projected onto the mask areas of photoresist exposed to the light are hardened and those sh shielded remain soft okay so here uh, you can see this mechanism and here you have the unexposed photoresist is removed by washing with a solvent okay leaving the hardened resist and underlaying the silicon dioxide layer in intact okay so here uh, you can see uh, this procedure okay the upper layer of the silicon dioxide is removed by etching with hot gases okay so here uh, uh, you can uh, see this procedure the hardened photoresist is removed with chemical solvent leaving an uneven silicon dioxide surface over the entire wafer okay so here you can see uh, okay so here uh, you have this polysilicon okay so the a layer of polysilicon is then deposited onto the silicon dioxide surface using chemical vapor deposition okay so here you can see this is uh, uh, your uh, uh, polysilicon okay in uh, uh, basically you can see this polysilicon here okay uh, a second layer of photoresist is applied over the polysilicon to prepare the wafer surface for second photo mask okay so here you can see the second photo mask is placed over wafer and ultraviolet light is again projected onto the mask okay the areas are exposed to the lighter hardened okay so here uh, you can see this the unexposed photoresist is washed away with solvent leaving only the l shaped hardened resist on the surface okay so here you can see this is these are the l shaped uh, uh, photoresist okay the next step is ion beam uh, milling or uh, you can also call it etching to remove the excess polysilicon uh, and another thin layer of silicon dioxide ox exposing uh, the silicon wafer surface okay so here you can see this procedure the photoresist is removed with solvent leaving uh, the ridges of uh, polysilicon the transistors gate with rise above the silicon walls okay and uh, here uh, you have this um, chemical doping implants phosphorus okay so in the green color here you can see uh, deep uh, within the silicon wells surrounded by uh, the silicon dioxide and polysilicon layers to produce positively doped silicon okay a second layer of uh, silicon dioxide is applied to provide insulation okay so here you can see a third film of photoresist is added to prepare the formation of vertical sheet or you can uh, uh, vertical shafts or vias okay that will contain metal contacts for uh, the polysilicon and the wells okay so the here uh, this is for the vias a third mask is illuminated with ultraviolet light hardening the photoresist everywhere with expectation of small uh, black rectangle that will become shaft okay removal of uh, soft photoresist with solvent exposes three areas of exposed silicon that mark the plant shafts okay so here you can see this the wafer is the wafer is next etched again to remove silicon dioxide and, and exposing the positively doped silicon and polysilicon gates uh, the remaining photoresist is then washed away with the solvent okay so here you can see the wafer is then sputter coated with aluminium that fills the shaft and eventually and evenly uh, coats the wafer's surface to provide electrical contacts okay a fourth layer of photoresist is applied to the wafer to prepare 
the transistor for final mask okay so here uh, you can see this ultraviolet light shining through the metallization mask harden the photoresist covering the aluminum okay so which will carry current current to and from the transistor okay so here the unexposed photo mask is removed with the solvent okay so here you can see this the final etching step removes exposed aluminum leaving only the metal necessary to make contacts in the shaft and connectors on the surface okay so here you can see this uh, and this is the last step okay so the last resist is washed away with the solvent and transistor is finished along with millions of neighbor on the wafer okay so here uh, you can see uh, this final work okay so this was all uh, for the fabrication uh, so here uh, uh, it is done with the fabrication now how does the transistor work okay so uh, i will uh, try to describe here okay so all the if you want to see detail then uh, you can go to our previous lecture okay so we have described it in detail in our uh, uh, previous uh, lecture how does a transistor work but uh, i will uh, explain it uh, a little bit here okay so here you can see this is uh, our transistor okay so this is the gate uh, so I suppose if you don't apply the gate voltage and then your transistor will be in cut off region okay so there will be no current flow no channel uh, will be formed okay but when you apply some gate voltage okay so suppose uh, you applied the gate uh, potential uh, 0.53 volt okay so uh, uh, so you will find the uh, uh, some charges here okay so um, and uh, you know that there is a vt when you if your uh, vg is lesser than vt or threshold voltage vt is usually 0.7 volt for the transistor when vg is lesser than vt the transistor is in cut off region okay so but when uh, your uh, vg is greater than vt uh, uh, then your transistor is in uh, uh, then basically uh, inversion layer will form okay but uh, still there will be no current flow until you apply this drain voltage okay so uh, when you apply this gate potential and the drain potential okay so then you can see uh, the current will flow from uh, drain to source okay so here you can see this is uh, the current is flowing from uh, drain to source between uh, because of the potential difference okay so uh, this was uh, basically the working of uh, uh, our transistor okay so uh, your transistor i can uh, uh, again repeat these steps so uh, transistor has three uh, regions of operation okay the cut off region second one is linear or uh, linear or triode region and the third one is saturation region okay so when your vg is lesser than vt uh, there is no id or drain current okay so uh, then the uh, transistor is in cut off region so suppose if uh, your vg uh, 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 is greater than vt and vds is lesser than equal to vgs minus vt then your uh, transistor is in linear or triode region okay and uh, if uh, your uh, vg is greater than vt and vds is greater than vgs minus vt uh, then your transistor is in saturation region okay so in the transistor basically you apply the voltage at the gate terminal and control the current between uh, drain and source terminals okay so this is uh, the working uh, principle of the mosfet okay uh, so in this lecture we have described uh, uh, the fabrication uh, steps of uh, single mosfet in uh, details and uh, uh, in the end we described how uh, does a transistor work okay so if uh, you have any question uh, please don't hesitate to contact me okay so this was all for today uh, thank you very much for today see you next time